to all from sunny Brisbane down in Australia. I uh, hope you're all well. Um, our weekly Brick Q&A show, we just uh, change it to a different time slot. Uh, it's, uh, it's on today for this week and uh, we're going to uh, have it on this same um, time um, time slot uh, from the upcoming weeks. Um, yeah, look, uh, it's uh, probably just wait for people to join in. Um, I'm Luis Miguel Lexo. I'm the um, founder, or co-founder, should I say, uh, with uh, Mrs. Uh, Brick, uh, Melinda Lexo, and, um, and and I'm also the uh, managing director of, um, in terms of what we're doing here in Australia, I'm the Brick BC, tokenizing Australian real estate properties. Um, yeah, before we start getting into the today's brick Q&A, uh, probably just wait a couple of minutes in case people want to join live. Um, the space here is being recorded um, and we do also share across our other platforms in terms of YouTube as well as Spotify. Um, but yeah, probably just um, sort of just reflecting on the last couple of weeks and some of the things that have been happening in blockchain that's obviously uh, that has an impact in, to- in terms of tokenized real estate. Uh, and yeah, look, in terms of um, some of the... The, um, uh, again, uh, probably some of you haven't heard or have heard, um, there was a court case last week in New York, um, in the New York uh, District Court, uh, where a case uh, in regards to Ripple, um, to, in terms of deciding whether the XRP um, crypto token is a security or not. So the, um, the decision by the, the District Court was that um, it is not a security. Um, what does that mean? Well, um it's something that's been overhanging, and obviously the blockchain and all projects, and give probably more from a, an American perspective of the SEC, um, uh, and again, obviously the rest of the world always looks in for leadership from from America when it comes to especially technology. And um, again, it's a case that's been won uh, for now. Uh, no doubt the probably has been appealed, but for now, it's, um, it's a great out- outcome for the industry in terms of trying to get some um, case law. Um, and the thing is, like um, with um, the, the, the as as we all know, there's um, in terms of legislation, uh, most most parts of the world, most parts of the world, should I say, um, there is no legislation dealing with uh, a lot of the blockchain related um, activities. Um, and obviously, in America, the SEC keeps um, you know putting out notices to various um, companies, uh, blockchain companies. Um, but the, 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 as we all know, there's actually no specific um, legislation dealing with um, blockchain digital related assets. And um, and again, it's um, it's a case that's uh, I think it's a positive for the blockchain industry as a whole. Um, that um, in terms of the, the directive and uh, the, and obviously the, uh, the decision made by the by the judge. Um, so again, it's, uh, I think it's going to only be positive for our blockchain industry as a whole in terms of, as we all um, you know going forward and, um, and trying to um, you know, uh, create different projects, different um, businesses that are, uh, that are driven by blockchain. So, again, it's, I think it could only be a positive in terms of the outcome, um, especially around trying to get some case law around it, some decisions. Um, but, yeah, look, uh, that's uh, something, something that was significant. It is significant. Um, Probably the other thing uh, in terms of BlackRock, um, they obviously are gaining great momentum in terms of um, announcing that they uh, are doing a Bitcoin ETF. Um, so again, that's before the before. I think that's they got great momentum in terms of getting that approved um, um, by the SEC in America, which obviously you know it's um, puts mainstream eyes on blockchain related um, you know projects whether it's cryptos tokenized assets um, just uh, all in general uh, activities on a blockchain so um, again it's um, I think it's a, it's a positive um, as we move forward um, in terms of um, them actually um, putting out a Bitcoin ETF which I think there's a few other um, big funds also doing something similar around the Bitcoin ETFs um, but yeah so that's uh, that's what's been happening in terms of the last few weeks from a blockchain perspective, from just a general perspective. Um, you, you know, as, as most of you do know, that um, I do enjoy uh, sports. Um, um, at the moment, uh, cricket, uh, the Ashes, the Australian cricket team is playing against England for the Ashes. Australia's over there in England. Um, they're down at the fourth test. Um, started last night here in Australia. Um so uh, it's, uh, we actually it's, it's best of five, so we're up two one. 
uh, before this test. So um, be interesting how it develops. Uh, New England got one up on us uh, in the last test, the third test. So um, I think it's going down the wire. It's this one's been played in Manchester. So uh, shout out to the Aussie cricket boys. Um, go well. Um, and I uh, hope that's a fantastic game goes down the wire. Um, in terms of something big that's happening at the moment here in Australia, we've got the FIFA Women's World Cup um, happening. It's starting actually today, this evening, um, which is fantastic because uh, it puts um, yeah, uh, the, uh, the women's um, soccer, football around the world has, great, has gained great momentum over the last couple of years. And I think uh, we're very lucky to be hosting this iconic um, World Cup for the women. Um, so, yeah, so it starts today. Uh, Shout out to the Matildas, our Australian team. Uh, go well. Um, and let's hope it's a fantastic tournament. Uh, we have got some games here in Brisbane. Um, but I think the first game opens in New Zealand. So it's being shared between New Zealand and Australia, the, the World Cup. And um, so the New Zealand team plays first uh, later on. And then the Australian team follows that here in Sydney, um, which is going to be unprecedented. Uh, the, the apparently it's going to be 70,000 70, people which is going to be a record crowd for a, a women's game um, here in Australia. So that, that's going to be in Sydney. So good luck to everyone involved in the in the FIFA Women's World Cup. Um, yeah, look, in terms of uh, we'll get stuck into today's session, I thought I'd just share some things that's been happening. And, um, but yeah, look, also thank you for SOS for, for hours to play his music. And it was just at the beginning, Jamie and GM. Thank you, SOS. Um, yeah, look, in terms of today, I'm just going to talk about um, our, um, our Brick Dolphin property, our Gold Coast property. Um, as I said earlier, from a formalities perspective, I'm Lewis Miguel Lex. I'm the co-founder and uh, manager director of Brick BC Projects. We tokenize real estate properties here in, in, in Australia, specifically uh, locations around Brisbane and Gold Coast, um, with uh, focusing on luxury residential properties. Um, so basically, we tokenize it. We basically... So the tokenization process is breaking up a property into, um, in our case, 40,000 pieces um, and having the ability to anybody from anywhere in the world have to own and be exposed to having a, a property token in, in one of the properties uh, and be on the journey with us and, um, and obviously have the benefits that come from uh, the exposure of um, real estate property. Um, that's sort of in a nutshell. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the Dolphin property, which is a Gold Coast property, I've actually put some twi- um, pinned tweets up on here. So uh, just probably the first one, again, just talking about the, the Gold Coast property and the various links there. Um, also the second one, just a bit of uh, there's a video links there to show, showing you the Gold Coast property and around the areas of the Gold Coast, so this paradise um, where the, the property is um, in the area there. Uh, the the, the property is actually at Mermaid, um, <laughs> Mermaid Beach. And uh, just beside Miami Beach, um, and uh, just down the road from this, the, the iconic Surface Paradise, um, which is our um, very much a tourist hub that's sort of um, probably around six kilometers from memory, five, six kilometers from the, the property. Um, but yeah, so this, that's the second one, and the third one just shows you how to buy, how to register, how to get onto our property tokens, just showing you how to. Um, but yeah, that's the pinned tweets up there. Um, but yeah, look, the, the Brick Dolphin property, um, it's, a, it's a newly built property, so we actually uh, buy that from a, a build developer, one of our contacts who actually uh, develops properties. Um, they, they, he focuses, focuses on, um, on luxury um, homes um, on the Gold Coast uh, at this stage. I think he is also doing some in Brisbane. Uh, once he's um, once he's um, as part of the next stage in terms of what he's doing, um, but um, so he's got uh, quite a, a few on the Gold Coast. Um, this is just one of them, um, which we've uh, basically secured to to buy. So um, so basically, the process is once um, you know with the Dolphin property, um, there's thirty three thousand um, property tokens available to to be sold. So um, once we sell all those um, Rick Dolphin. Um, property tokens we, we then settle on the property and the journey starts in terms of uh, everybody everybody the token bricked off um, token holders being on the journey together and we all um, basically um, uh, see that then obviously the in terms of the growth over the years and, and being on the journey and, and be able to um, again people who have got tokens uh, dolphin tokens um, 
that it can sell many and it's on on the secondary market so um so yeah basically if you've got a hundred for example and i mean i mean these these um these um rip dolphin tokens that uh, they're all eighty dollars us so each pro- each dolphin token is eighty dollars um us um to buy so um so basically, once once with the journey starts, uh, once we sell the property, the journey starts. Um, basically, uh, so for example, you've got a hundred um, dolphin tokens. Um, at any time, you, you can sell those on a secondary market. Um, so basically, through our platform, there'll be a secondary market on our platform where you can put them up, and um, people can um, then buy from you on on the platform. So, um, but yeah, so it's uh, it's a, it's a journey that uh, we we see it's been in terms of the given uh, the, the quality of the property and given uh, what's happening here in Australia, especially in terms of Brisbane and Gold Coast, um, obviously with the Olympics in 2032 and some of the variables, other variables, that's really um, you know, increasing the, the property values here. Um, uh, it will be a fantastic journey ahead. I mean, details on the property actually on our website. Um, if you go on on the, uh, actually, if you, if you go on to the, um, on the Twitter space here, on the Twitter, on the, to our Twitter account, um, in the profile there, you'll see links to um, our website, which has got links to in terms of the various other social media platforms and so forth. But on the, on the, on the website one, you'll see, you'll go in into in terms of properties and you'll see the, 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 the dolphin property there with all its details in terms of what our expectations are in terms of rent, in terms of increase in value over time. So it goes into a few details there in terms of what um, what that property means. Um, but yeah, so it's um, yeah, just just kind of website and have a look at the final details around that. Um, but yeah, so basically, uh, um, yeah, it's 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 getting on a journey together and um, on each respective property, um, and then basically having the exposure. So again, um, yeah, and any anybody from any any parts of the world um, can um, can buy. Um, the Brick Dolphin tokens, uh, all our properties. Um, at the moment, we've got the Brick Dolphin property um, that we focus at the moment. Um, and basically, um, yeah, you can you can use USDC or Ravencoin um, to pay for um, the, the the property to buy the the, the Dolphin tokens. Um, so yeah, so we, we as I said, we use USD, USDC and Ravencoin. And this property is tokenized on the Ravencoin blockchain. So we just also allow people to to use Ravencoin to to be able to um, to buy a, a dolphin token, um, but yeah, so that's the sort of the in a, in a nutshell in terms of what the dolphin property is all about. Um, in terms of how do you buy, as I said, I put a I put a tweet there, a, a pin tweet, the last one, just showing the sort of how we go about in terms of buying. But basically, you, you go onto our platform from our website. Website, you'll see the links there um, to go into our BBC property tokens platform. Um, so there, you subscribe, subscribe for for your account. Uh, enter all your details there and then once you're approved your account is ready to go um, basically uh, you'll deposit uh, the USDC or Ravencoin um, to the equivalent of, equivalent of um, dolphin tokens you want to buy uh, as I said um, each, um, each dolphin token is $80 so if you just want to buy one deposit um, um, 80 USDC or if you were paying Raven you just have to convert as to what that is there's um, some links there in terms of what and how much raven coin you got to the part deposit to, to to make up the eighty dollars um uh, so basically um yeah then deposit then you're ready to go and ready to apl- basically apply that that um those uh, deposit funds um once approved uh you're ready to apply to your um to purchase a brick dolphin there'll be a, a, an offer a sale offer agreement in there we just go through the details as to what the property's all about and um and um and basically um just just refine those details around it so um but, yeah, but once you've done once if you buy more you don't have to fill it out uh, again so it's it's already done um but yeah look in terms of we do give people a choice like when you do buy a brick dolphin we do give give people a choice as to whether they want to hold it um, in, a, in their own wallet which is you know basically um 
what we call on chain. Basically, uh, we transfer that dolphin token to your Ravencoin wallet, uh, so it'll be in your own wallet. Um, or you can actually keep it off chain. So basically, when we transfer it, so we it'll be transferred into your account, your account in that platform. So it'll be kept off chain. So um, so you can have a choice. Um, some people have done it um, to to take it to their own wallet, um, to their own Ravencoin wallet, or some people have kept. Um, Depending on your preferences, um, depending on how how um, confident you are using um, the, the centralized wallets um, in terms of your own wallet, Ravencoin wallet, or basically we went, you, or you just want us to custodian those for you in, in your account um, in our platform. So, um, but you know, one of the Ravencoin wallets that we do, Corinne, if you want to take it to your own to your own wallet, um, blockchain wallet, Ravencoin blockchain wallet, one of the ones is Mango Farm wallet. So we, we use that ourselves, where we Hold um, different um, different assets in terms of the art, the artwork and so forth, um, and the artwork and um, and uh, and obviously that's um, we also hold um, yeah um, Raven um, crypto in there as well. So again, we 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 know the the founders of uh, Mango Farm Wallet, so we're confident uh, about that wallet. So it's um, yeah, it's just about a simple process of um, setting it up with your twelve word phrase and C word phrase. And then basically providing that address um, on our on the platform under your wallets, and adding that address, receiving address in your wallet, um, the, for us then to approve that um, that Ravencoin um, blockchain wallet um, in your in your account. So, um, but yeah, so it, it, again, it's uh, you can hold it off chain, where we held it in your account, or you can hold it on chain and holding that in your own Ravencoin wallet. So again, okay, there's two choices there. Um, but yeah, so um, so once you've um, bought it, then um, and uh, and basically we issue the the Rick Dolphin token to your tokens. Um, then you're basically on the journey uh, in terms of uh, the the Dolphin property journey. And as I said, it's uh, once we sell all, um, then basically we're ready to um, start the journey and selling on the property. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah. Look, in terms of um, that's sort of a, in, a, in a simple nutshell. As I said uh, on the third um, tweet, there um, there is uh, in terms of how to. Um, so it can go on there. Um, and um, uh, also, uh, Danny's joining us. Uh, hello, Danny. Thank you for joining us. Um, but yeah, look, it's uh, it is a brick Q and A. If um, if there is any questions uh, that you want to ask. Um, please do so and um, if you want the mic uh, give you the mic um, before we start wrapping up um, but yeah it's look, uh, always uh, again I always prefer to get people to ask questions live we do get some questions down throughout the throughout the week that uh, I'd like to share um, and actually I did uh, I did have one actually come through in the last few days um, and just in terms of um, um, again, it was, I sort of touched on before in terms of holding, um, holding the, um, the the Brick Dolphin token. Yeah. Um, so as I said, we give people the option uh, how they want to hold the Brick Dolphin token, so they can hold it in their own decentralized um, Ravencoin wallet, or we can actually custody in those in, uh, in 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 your own account um, in our platform. So again, it's um, it's it's your choice. And I was just a like, question around that. In terms of uh, what, which uh, which one should I should I hold it in? Uh, what's what's the preference? Well, there's no preference, as I said before. It's in terms of how you, how you feel comfortable using the centralized wallets, um, or just um, you know, we've had people that are comfortable using the centralized wallets, and I just want to custodian them from in, in in your account, obviously. Um, and um, again, there's not a right or wrong. It just comes back to in terms of what you're comfortable with, in terms of um, holding a um, an asset, uh, holding the dolphin tokens. But, um, but yeah, not right or wrong. Just uh, just what you is what you what you prefer. Um, but yeah, um, if uh, if there is no questions, uh, we'll start to to wrap up. And um, hope you're doing well, Danny. Um, over there in America, hope it's not too hot uh, for you. I know we've seen here in the news that some places have been as hot as um, 54 degrees Celsius. Uh, I'm not too sure that is in Fahrenheit, but um, but it's hot. <laughs> I think I think it was Pennsylvania. I think that we got it on the news here that uh, we got as high as 54 degrees Celsius. Um, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> I hope it's not too hot when you write that again. <laughs> but... Um, 
But yeah, look, it's uh, we start to wrap up. Also, uh, a shout out to um, John from New Zealand. He's across the ditch, as we like to say. It. Uh, um, John's actually uh, come on during the week as a, as a dolphin holder. So, um, shout out to John. Welcome to the Brick family. I uh, hope you're doing well. If you are listening to the to, the, to this um, live. Um, Twitter space, um, what's been recorded. So, uh, it's, uh, if you are listening to the recording, so uh, welcome on, welcome on board, John. And uh, we always have a lot of fun with our New Zealand neighbours, um, a lot of banter, um, a bit like um, the banter no doubt that goes between um, US and Canadians. And um, so again, we do have similar banter in terms of between our two countries, which are always always a lot of fun. So. Um, but yeah, look, it's, uh, that's all I got for this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's show and, um, and got something from in terms of what the Dolphin property on the Gold Coast is all about. Um, we'll be some more, uh, more next week. Uh, same time, same place. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Thank you for listening to the recording. And uh, thank you, Danny, for doing us live. And I hope you have a fantastic day and, uh, and uh, rest of the week as well. Take care, everyone, and bye for now.